The Metropolitan Police have apologised and paid out £30,000 to a man who was choked by police on Ch Chiswick Common in December 2012. Postman and musician Zach Sharif Ali was said to have been walking his dog at the time that he was stopped and illegally searched by the Metropolitan Police, which apparently later involved a strip search. Sheriff Ali said that PC Duncan Bullock, who searched him, failed to identify himself properly by failing to give his name and station, which we see all the time and is something that definitely needs to be stopped. I mean, even now, police have been told since Sarah Everard's death that if they stop a woman and she wants clarification that the plot is legitimate, they are to ask the plot to radio control. I know this incident with Zach is some 10 years ago and he's not a woman, but it shows how long police have been getting away with not identifying themselves and instead simply being ignorant and saying things like, well, you can see my number, it's there. Which is all well and good if someone's filming the incident. But if your eyesight is poor or you're under stress at the time, not so good. Now, as far as I'm aware, the obligation to give that information has been standard for many, many years and is in the Police and Criminal Evidence Act Code A when it was issued in 1984. But yet police still think they are OK to completely skip that part because, well, because they're police and who's going to be believed more often or, or not, you or them. Anyway. PC Bullock was in plain clothes at the time, which is another reason to get this false idea that they can get away with not identifying themselves sorted out. Zach has been fighting this case for around 10 years and last month the Metropolitan Police finally accepted that the search and the headlock that Zach was put in by PC Bullock was unlawful. It appears that Zach has, uh, was not found to have been in possession of anything illegal and was released later the same day. A letter from the Met's Professional Standards Directorate stated, It is a matter of regret that Sheriff Ali was unlawfully searched. Adding that, I acknowledge the anxiety and distress this incident caused you and would like to apologise to you on behalf of the Metropolitan Police Service. However, the Metropolitan Police continue to claim that Bullock did not hold Zach in a prolonged headlock or any other unapproved restraint method. But an IOPC investigation into the incident said that the method of restraint chosen by Bullock appeared to contradict training procedures. It also said that the reason for restraining Sheriff Ali was unclear to other officers who were called to the park, and their account indicated the manoeuvre came out of nowhere. It says that Bullock accepted Sheriff Ali was struggling to speak whilst in the neck hold, which is a technique which the Metropolitan Police Officer Safety Manual says can lead to serious injury or fatality. The duty sergeant at the time of the incident, 10 years ago, gave a statement to the IOPC which said that Bullock did not have a good work ethic and would stop and search people around lunchtime and then think he would not have anything to do for the rest of the day. She said, I remember, that, I remember that day, PC Bullock had gone out for his sandwich, so I knew he would bring back a stop and search record form as he always conducted a stop and search when he went to get his lunch. Now, I believe that Bullock might still be working for the Metropolitan Police after the IOPC investigation concluded that he had a case to answer for excessive force used against Sheriff Ali. But when the Met held the hearing, they decided that Bullock had reasonable grounds to search Sheriff Alley and had used force legitimately in the midst of a fast-paced struggle. So there's no indication that Bullock was fired, resigned or otherwise left. Sheriff Alley has said that the Met's apology was worthless and he has still not received justice. What did I get for being choked to the point I feared I might die? What did I get for being stripped naked and humiliated? What did I get for all the trauma and years of mental health problems? No officer has been disciplined. The Met has dragged this out for 10 years. I haven't been able to heal and move on. It's like they have gone out of their way to aggravate my pain. He said he believed he was targeted because of the colour of his skin. If I'm doing what everyone else does in the park, walking my dog and eating a sandwich, than which one of my actions gave him any suspicion. I looked casually professional. So, what else is there, other than the colour of my skin, that would make him think I was doing anything 
illegal. When asked, Bullock told the IOPC he first approached Sheriff Ali because he was hanging around the park, which he subsequently admitted sounded very weak. He later claimed that Sheriff Ali was on his phone in a known drug dealing hotspot. But the, <laughs> fucking hell. But the IOPC found Bullock's rationale was poorly supported as there was no specific intelligence justifying him searching Sheriff Ali. The IOPC, however, noted that there was no evidence to support the allegation to search was racially motivated. Ian Gould from DPP Law, the solicitor who represented Sheriff Ali, said Bullock subjected Sheriff Ali to a gross abuse of power, including a terrifying chokehold around his neck. In many ways, the worst thing that happened to Zach was not, however, the aggressive actions of Bullock, but the callous rejection of Zach's complaint by the Metropolitan Police, who forced Zach through a torturous 10-year process of complaint and litigation before finally settling his claim. The Met have shown no remorse for their actions and, if anything, seem to have taken pride in fighting PC Bullock's corner and throwing as many obstacles as possible in the path of my client's campaign for justice. So, remember, take this away from this video. The police will try and block your attempts at making a complaint and claim against them. They will drag things out to the last possible moment in the hope that you will give up, knowing that you are totally invested in seeing justice, whereas they don't give a toss and just want you to go away. If you find yourself in a situation where you are thinking about taking a claim against police, please don't give up. But also don't invest all your time and energy into it, as you don't need to. Simply do what you need to do. Contact a solicitor, a no win, no fee one is great if you can't afford to hire one directly and let them deal with the hassle as they get paid to do that. But don't give up. Justice is justice no matter how long it takes.